Can you show me what happened here? Well, basically, um, my wife and I were sleeping. It was about a little after 3 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we heard a noise outside of our bedroom door. And my wife has better hearing than I do, and she, we, we laid there and we listened, and then she heard some footsteps. And she was saying there's footsteps around the house, but I heard her say there's footsteps upstairs. And so I rolled out of bed and, and uh, I grabbed my um, weapon and, and cleared the areas upstairs and came down and she said someone was trying to come in the back door. So I came out this door, um, came around the, the edge here and found uh, the gentleman trying to come in our back door by our bedroom. And so um, I talked him uh, into coming into the center of the, the patio here and getting on his knees and he and I both waited for the police to show up. So can you guys let's just walk over and you show us a little further there? Sure. <clears throat> he was at he was at the door there and um and I brought him out out to about here and then we both just kinda waited um for him to settle down and the police came and he was very compliant after after we discussed what what he should be compliant for. <laughs> and you had him you just uh, I just had him I just had him here on his knees uh on the ground. And um, we subsequently, after the police took him off, found out that he had half of the lid off of the hot tub. And I don't know what he was doing, but there was a bunch of mud in the hot tub. And, and I found out today that he was, he was really intoxicated. When we were um, discussing his compliance, I really, I really didn't know what his mental state was or anything. In fact, when I came out, I had no idea. All I saw was a, a, a person. Um, I didn't know if he if he had a weapon. I didn't know what his intentions were. So um, we just we made it work, and the police came very quickly. My wife called 911, and and in about uh, four to five minutes, we had Ada County Sheriff and and a Meridian Police Department here, and they did an excellent job in coming back and taking care of the situation. Um, but I think it's it's a it's a good uh, it it, it kind of details the fact that. All of us are, are the owners of the first one to three or four minutes of a situation. We have a security system in our house, and, and that works really well um, for telling you when somebody is already in. Um, so anyway, this was a situation where, where we had to take charge for that first few minutes until the police arrived and, and uh, took care of the situation for us. Uh, frightening situation, wasn't it? I mean, you know, when you think about of it, because you, you, you don't know. No what, idea. No, I, I didn't know when I came, when I was working through the house and came outside, I had no idea how many people I was dealing with, um, where they were, what their intentions were, um, or if they were armed or not armed. And so I think one of the most important things that we have to realize is, is as guns are a Second Amendment right, and people carry guns, um, and I think it's important that we train people to properly use guns. Um, I don't think we do enough training. I, and I think I think we could we can always use more training, to make people safer. And uh, uh, after that situation, uh, what kind of conversation did you and your wife have? Uh, thankful, I mean that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I, I, it was it was pretty nerve wracking. I mean, when, when you're in the middle of the of any kind of a situation like that, um, you just you go to work and you do your business and you get that done. But then after it's done and all that adrenaline stops, then. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty nerve wracking, and, and it took us a while to settle down. We haven't been to sleep yet. Uh, a couple more questions. Mm -hmm. um, uh, then, did you find out what his intentions were? Has the police kind of uh, debriefed him to see, or do you know? You know? I, I don't know what what his intentions were, um, and I didn't realize that he was intoxicated. I I knew that there was something going on. Is all I knew. Um, he he was here. Um, he. I was doing most of the talking, and um, and when the police arrived, they quickly um, secured him and, and took him away. And, and I really had no idea what this what his situation was. Was he combative at all, or you know, verbal uh, verbally, or was he physically uh, combative? Uh, you know, what what was your thoughts as you were trying to uh, get the situation under control? Um, well, I was scared, um, obviously, but in a situation like that, you just have to take control and and make the situation safe, and that's that's what I did. He, he didn't try to um, push you or, no. or force you or anything? No. He, he complied basically to your, yes. your commands? Yes, yeah. Um, and uh, are you going to press charges? 
Um, we apparently have. Uh, the, the police asked us last night if they wanted us to cite him or if they wanted us to, if he should go to jail. And I said, I think the young man needs to go to jail. I, 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 I hadn't any idea what the situation was. And so that's, they said, okay, fine, and took him off. Um, approximate age of this young man? I'd say, from what I saw, he was probably early to mid-20s. Is that right? Um, but I, I um, all I saw was when I got him from the door down down on the ground, and that was, you know, I didn't spend a lot of time really checking him out. I spent a more time making sure that he was secure. Yeah. Anything I haven't asked you you want to say? Um, I don't remember if I said said it or not, but I think people people do need to realize that the first few minutes of any kind of an incident, um, that personal security responsibility lies upon us. Um, our police departments are great, uh, but they're a few minutes away. And so whether or not you want to, you, you choose to protect yourself with a gun, a baseball bat, a place to hide in a corner, uh, doesn't really matter, but I think people need to realize that those first few minutes are critical in any kind of a situation, and you need to be prepared for that. You need to have a five-minute plan. And from your experience now, I, I heard your debate on the floor, and you talk exactly about this. And here it has happened to you. I mean, this is uh, this is really kind of interesting, isn't it? That uh, that uh, the point is brought home here. It it it, it certainly wasn't intentional, <laughs> but I, I think it clearly details what what the point is. Um, you know, we. We assume security until it's not there. 